This is Sophie. Sophie has type 1 diabetes. Recently, Sophie started using the Minimed 780G system by Medtronic to help her manage her diabetes. For the last three days, Sophie has been using manual mode. However, today, with the guidance of her diabetes nurse Kelly, Sophie will use the SmartGuard feature for the first time. Kelly will help Sophie understand the Minimed 780G system by showing her how to enter the SmartGuard feature and the basics of how to use it. Kelly shows Sophie that the SmartGuard feature can keep her glucose levels within the target range selected for her by matching Sophie's insulin needs as her glucose levels rise and fall. By using the SmartGuard feature, Sophie will have fewer lows and highs and will spend more time in her required range as there will be less glucose variability. Sophie learns that this is because the SmartGuard feature provides automatic basal adjustments, known as autobasal, every five minutes and autocorrection boluses if needed for correction. These adjustments are based on Sophie's glucose values and trends, with a default target of 100 mg per deciliter, but a target of 110 or 120 mg per deciliter can also be selected. The target value would have been chosen together with her healthcare professional to support the goal of the lowest risk of hypos while keeping the greatest time in range. Before turning the SmartGuard feature on, Sophie has to feel confident completing the following actions. Change the pump's reservoir and infusion set. Use the Bolus Wizard calculator. Insert and tape the sensor and transmitter. Download the Minimed mobile app. Check all devices are properly paired Calibrate the sensor. Kelly checks that Sophie is wearing her sensor and that it is working. Before turning on the SmartGuard feature, Sophie and Kelly remember to cancel any active temp basal rates. Confirm that insulin delivery is not suspended. Confirm the carb ratio is set. Review the high and manual mode CGM settings. To turn on the SmartGuard feature, Sophie must press the menu button and select the shield that is the SmartGuard symbol. Scroll down and select On. Sophie goes to the SmartGuard setting. Here she can select Target and Auto Correction. Kelly discusses with Sophie which of the SG targets she should choose and suggests to keep Auto Correction on. Now that Sophie is entering the SmartGuard feature for the first time, she should open the SmartGuard checklist to see the status of requirements needed to start or continue using the SmartGuard feature. A green checkmark icon means that the item is ready. A question mark icon means that there is an action to be done. A wait icon means the pump is updating and there is no action to take at that time. Now the SmartGuard feature is activated and it is working based upon the SG readings. There will be a big blue shield icon with a glucose value in the middle displayed on the pump screen. Sophie remembers what Kelly told her about the importance of calibrating the pump. For the sensor to provide the pump with the best information, Sophie should calibrate her pump two to three times a day. Each time a BG is entered and confirmed, it is considered a calibration. To calibrate the sensor, Sophie has to test her blood glucose by using the AccuCheck GuideLink meter to wirelessly send her glucose level reading to the pump. When a BG check is done, the back or send button must be pressed to send the BG value to the pump, otherwise a delay will be seen. She can also use any meter and manually input the data. Sophie knows that, for consistent results, it's best to use the same meter. It is important that on the day of the sensor's startup, Sophie calibrates between 40 minutes to two hours after the sensor's insertion and the warm-up period is complete. She must then perform a second calibration within the first six hours. For the remaining days, Sophie should calibrate two to three times a day. The best time to calibrate is before meals and before going to bed to avoid nighttime alerts. Sometimes the pump will ask for an additional calibration to be on the safe side. 
Kelly recommends that Sophie downloads the free Minimed mobile app from the Apple or Android App Store. Sophie will then be able to connect her pump to the app on her phone via Bluetooth. The Minimed mobile app displays pump and continuous glucose monitoring CGM, data from the Minimed 780G system. The app allows Sophie to easily view her pump and sensor data on her smartphone and the data is automatically uploaded to the CareLink personal system every 24 hours. An internet connection is required for the initial startup, but not for the daily use of the app. However, an internet connection is required to sync the app to CareLink personal. Kelly suggests that Sophie connects with care partners, so that they can see her pump and CGM data and receive notifications. Her care partner just needs to download the CareLink Connect app and request to follow her. Sophie now knows all there is to know about her pump's smart guard feature and is ready to start her journey with her Minimed 780G system with the smart guard feature.